them girls get down on the floor. Bust it open, drop down, touch your toes. She got money, but she danced like a hoe. Bring the finger to a broke head and hoe. Bitch, all the girls get down on the floor. Bust it open, bend over, touch your toes. She got money, but she danced like a hoe. Broke middle finger to a broke head and hoe. Bitch. Anyway, today is sex. Tip. Bitch, sex. Tip. Bitch. So look, um, it's not like sex tips or sex advice. So look, I just child these children. Let's talk about how do we talk to our children about sex, right? What type of conversations do you have with your children? And are you able to have conversations with your children? Now, some of you motherfuckers, maybe y'all think that y'all live like a deviant lifestyle because you throw that pussy to anybody who give you some money. Or you a motherfucker who out here slinging dick to all types of bitches. To and So you don't want to have those conversations with your motherfucking children because you have like a guilt thing going on within yourself because you know that, I mean, you, you're an adult. You know what I'm saying? Some people say that you have whole activities and whole, act, whole vibes. You know what I'm saying? But no, you're, you're an adult. However you choose to live your motherfucking life is how you choose to live. And also, sometimes some people don't want to talk to their children be, uh, about sex work, or it may be difficult is because they have had an unfortunate incident where they've been sexually assaulted, molested, or raped. So, um, but still in that instance, because if you have went through that, you still should be, you should still have conversations with your children about the, the pleasures of sex because sex is a pleasurable thing. However, there are some people who take advantage of the shit. Now, when your son is and your, your daughter is really, really young, I think you should start letting them know, you know, vagina. They talk about pee pee. No, you have a penis. You know what I'm saying? Those type of words, like the real techno technology, <laughs> the real terminology behind the shit. You know what I'm saying? But then as they get older, they find themselves attracted to the opposite sex or the same sex or whatnot. Especially my boys. Because, you know, you see something, they dick, they instantly get hard. They want to fuck. But you got to tell them, like, oh, just because you want to fuck and you see something that, that spark your interest don't mean that you got to get to touching and feeling and grabbing and pulling to You know, honey, you 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 are a motherfucking predator when you do shit like that. This is the words that you definitely need to express when you're talking to your sons. And then you also got to put them in a real life scenario. Like, you explain, look, you're, I'm your mother. There's a mother talking to her son. I mean, you don't want any man violating me in any in any kind of way, or even your sisters, or your aunt, your 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 cousins, or, or a girlfriend that you like so much. That you know what I'm saying? That you have strong feelings for. You don't want anyone to do that. So you also have to have that frame of mind when you have these urges that comes over you. You don't go around touching. You know, you keep your set, your hands to yourself and you don't allow nobody to touch you. Because another thing that be happening in, like, what that's going on right now, because I remember back in the day when I was young, like, dudes would be touching your butt, like, you know, and that was such a violation. I just, like, that was just icky and disgusting. Like, you know, when I'm, like, in a, damn, how far back? What grade was that? That's, like, third, fourth, fifth. I remember that shit. Like, just feeling, like... And then, you know, boys actually was our virgin. And also at that time when I was, and I remember, I swear I remember exactly where I was. I, I see I went to bunch. Um, and this boy asked me, was I a virgin? Bitch, I didn't know on some real shit. Due to the fact that no one ever talked to me about sex, bitch, I didn't even know what a virgin was. You know, I don't, I didn't even know what that meant. Because there was no communications about sex. So, but you know, just being violated by them touching, you know, grab touching girls' butt and shit like that shit was just so disgusting. And then another thing too, what they doing now, but I know it's like with the boys, they be like, you know, touching each other's ass. I 
Is this the LGBTQ? Is this are you bitches to blame for that shit? I ain't gonna blame the LGBTQ. But this is what the fuck is going on. And not only that, girls is sucking dick in the motherfucking um in the staircase at school. So if you don't tell your daughter to value herself, of course they're gonna they're gonna have sex, but you want to you want them to be smart. You let them know like um H L. Uh, STIs is real. HIV is real. Getting pregnancy, getting pregnant is real. You don't have any money to, to take care of a child. A child requires somebody to be mentally, physically, spiritually, financially, and emotionally well. And you're not that as a kid. In high, middle school, high school. Not to say that you can't overcome that, but why put yourself through that? You understand what I'm saying? And also to let them know about like, um, and these older men who be fucking like these young girls, the uh, pedophiles, bitch, you a pedophile. You are. If you 20 something years old and you trying to holler at a girl that's in the sixth, seventh grade, bitch, you's a pedophile. Eighth grade, like what the fuck is you doing? So if you tell her to have value, like within herself, she won't be so quick to take, to, to be taken advantage of by somebody who kind of like, oh, baby, you cute. You know what I'm saying? Here go $50 for some sneakers or $150 for some sneakers. Because she know her value will be up. And the same thing with the boys. Yo, it was this man who was the owner of this restaurant who was coming here to the Bronx. Because, you know, a lot of people, you know, this is a, a, a low income area, some areas in the Bronx. And he was finding young dudes who didn't have no money and fucking them, taking them up to the roof of the motherfucking building, a grown ass Caucasian man. And you got to tell your son that too, to, to, you know, have your values behind just because you ain't got no money, but you don't be doing no any motherfucking thing for no motherfucker for a piece of paper that they claim has value. So you have to have real, and don't be afraid to, talk, like, I, see, look, me, my son already know how I get down, so. And hopefully your, your children know you as a person, because they have to know you. Like, I don't hold no shorts, no nothing. Like, bitches, this is who the fuck I am. Before I was your mother, I was Myra. Like, the fuck? So you have to have real conversations with your children about sex. And the one thing that you tell them is that they need to value themselves. And don't be so quick to to, to have sex. You know, not, although my mother didn't really have tell, talk to me about sex, I had like um, a strong sense of self, like within my, like, or like awareness, right? Like I knew, like I, if a guy like me, he constantly, constantly pressured me for sex, I would be like, nah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know I'm not fucking him. Like, in my mind, like, you know what I'm saying? And this was, like, before I even started having sex. So if a guy was constantly pressuring me, I was just, I was thinking, like, no, nah, like, you too. Mm-mm. You too thirsty, bitch. We not doing that. So have real conversation. And don't be afraid to tell, listen, tell them story and how shit repeats itself this shit is so wow yo why my mother had told me the story uh she said that one time she was somewhere i don't remember how old i was when she told me this but i was young she was like she was somewhere she was with a whole bunch of girls and and, and a whole bunch of guys and the girls was having sex but she was like well i ain't have sex right okay cool you know i took that i took that in you know what i'm saying okay so I guess that was her way of telling me to value yourself without saying value yourself. But and I I got it. You understand what I'm saying? And the wild shit was the shit flipped on me. I was in a situation where me and me and somebody we had left school. We skipping school, and um, now my young from Michigan, so the snow was up to here. Some dudes was like seeing us walking down, so he was like, "Yo, come, come, come." We don't even know these motherfuckers. We don't know them. Do you hear me? So we go to their motherfucking house. Go in the house. The one dude told my the girl I was with, yo, come back here with me. She go in the room with this motherfucker. I don't know if she fucked him or not. 
But I know I was sitting on that motherfucking couch. The dude kept on saying something. Whatever he said, I kept on saying, no. Nope. I didn't even look at him. No. Nope. No. Nope. Like, he could have been like, you want something to drink? Nope. You know what I'm saying? Is your, what's your name? Nope. Like, whatever he said, I just kept saying, nope. Nope. I just remember just saying, nope. Now, I don't know if she... You know, I never even asked her that. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, shit, do like... So it's important for you to share stories too, stories that you went through. I even told my son about another time me and this, me and a, a female friend of mine was listening to this hip hop because I'm a hip hop head. Uh, we listened to this 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 show that came on like around two o'clock in the morning. The shit went off at six. We was either her apartment, or mine. This that this this morning was in my apartment while we listened to the shit, and um, and so she was like, yo. Because if I ate some raw pussy, I'd do it real. And she leaned into me and said, I, I'd do it real good. Bitch, I was like this. I just like froze. You know what I'm saying? And luckily, like, she backed off. You know, because, see, then again, like that same sex shit, that, now, that wasn't even something that was on the menu for my mother. You know what I'm saying? I don't even know if she even had a, an experience like that. And then another time I experienced something like that when I was an exotic dancer, this girl come. She was like, yo, we going to, um, I'm going to take the cab home with you. All right, bitch, we going to share a cab. Bitch, I'm going, okay, we drop me off first. You can go wherever the fuck you going. Well, she's like, no, I'm staying at your house. Bitch, no, the fuck you not. No, I said, no, just like that. I don't know what the fuck she was on, but bitch, no. When they got in front of my motherfucking building, I paid my motherfucking tab and got the fuck out. And I can she go and I told her, like, are you taking her wherever she's going? Is you not coming up? You not coming up here? Bitch, I don't even know you like that. You be that motherfuckers. Bitch, are you still You trying to fuck Bitch, girl, ho, if you don't get the fuck on some motherfucking where? And then also with this LGBT, well, I mean what I, what I ain't gonna blame it, but with the gay shit that's like, you know. It's, you know what I'm saying? You got to have talks with your children about that shit, too. I had told my son, I said, you got to watch out for dudes because dudes are trying to set you up. Now, I know personally that men, because I have male friends that they will, they fuck. You know, they, they'll find a girl. They don't, I don't have, they don't told me something they don't find the girl and the girl, they don't, they don't fuck. They all stand around this bitch fucking her. With their dicks out. Men do, they, boys do, and men do, they, they different than motherfucking females. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, and I was like, you gotta watch out for some of them motherfuckers be gay. They want to suck a little dick and, 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 and fuck a little dick. Or get fucked by a dick. And if you ain't with that shit, if you know that ain't on, on your, on your timeline, motherfucker. You better, eh, no, bitch, no, honey. Like, this is some real life motherfucking conversation that you really have to have with your children, people. And then, like, and don't be afraid to have these conversations with them. The first thing I think you definitely need to tell is just about the value. You have to value yourself. And my, you're going to have so many thoughts in your brain. Just because you have so many don't mean that you need to act on all of them. You understand what I'm saying? But be true to you. You know with something with, with something that, that that's that's a part of who you are as a being because you feel it. You you know what it is. You know what I'm saying? And and if it's no, then it's no. And don't you not easy and don't be easily persuaded for, for shit. You understand what I'm saying? So anyway, that was my little sex advice for today. Anyway, y'all know my name is Real Love Intimacy Coach slash Seduction with the service called Seductive Art. And I'm available for hire for your bachelorette parties, girls' nights out events, uh, private lessons. Um, and hopefully I'll see y'all at my next workshop or class. I am also an author. The title of my book is called Quickie is Seven Short Erotic Stories in the ebook form only as it's only $1.99. I am also a designer slash fashion architect. Name my brand is real nice. I'll be having something coming really soon, so please be looking out for that. And um, if I resonate with you, you know what to do. Please hit that, click that. I would appreciate that. 
Um, you know, we how we leave this motherfucker be kind, be gracious, be on time, be focused. Black people be black and proud. Be um generous. Be be happy. Be spiritual. Be a part of your community. Um, be assertive. Be opinionated. You know, we pushing P around here, which is positivity. Be all these positive things, right? But in the midst of you doing all of that, you always, you don't fall, you don't turn your back, you don't compromise. You always be you because you is what makes you unique. Until we meet again, y'all have a great one. Peace.